Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel and welcome to the Voyager of the Seas and more specifically the Royal Promenade on the Voyager. And uh, if you'll notice in the video, the headsets, everybody was uh, apparently wrapping up a little silent disco as we happen to come through here. And so I can, uh, <laughs> I can only imagine what music they might have been listening to, um, given the overall crowd on the ship for this particular cruise. It was a 14-night Arctic crossing cruise in September of 2022, so essentially a repositioning for the Voyager of the Seas coming back over to the U.S. after it had restarted in Europe in 2022. Um, back in the spring so you know after two years off they had restarted the ship over there and then brought it back to the states so we decided to fly over there and join the ship and then bring it uh, come with the ship back over to Boston and then fly back home to Orlando so a nice little uh, round trip uh, vacation for us and a 14 night Arctic crossing cruise so you'll see here later in the video that we're going to get into the Royal Theater and this is one of the, the very unique shows that they had on uh, during the cruise. The, of, of the 14 nights, uh, we might have gone to the theater maybe a couple of times uh, to see a couple of different shows, but uh, this was a pretty unique performance. You're gonna see all kinds of stuff, a unicycle, some uh, gymnastics. Uh, <laughs> it was entertaining, that's for sure. So here we are down at the legendary Schooner Bar, where the uh, piano players keeping the crowd entertained as we make our way down into the Royal Theatre. Uh, and here we go. This is the the show. Uh, I, you know, I cut together different little aspects of the show just to give you an idea of what they do. And uh, you know, when we were going in here to watch the show, I don't even know that I, at the time, even kind of knew what to expect. You know, it's kind of one of those you're on a a 14 night cruise and uh you know you're going to be on the ship for a while so you figure oh, you might as well make the best of it and go check out some of the entertainment and stuff like that and over the course of the cruise i think we saw a couple of different shows in here one of the uh, interesting things about this particular show is they made pretty good use of the music you might be able to hear it uh, kind of in the background a little bit some of the uh, popular songs from different uh, different genres different decades and stuff like that YouTube, of course, would have a little bit of a field day with some of this music. Uh, if it, you know, because YouTube is just like that sometimes. It's a, kind of a pain in the butt. But as we were sitting here watching the show, you know, this is the very beginning piece here. And, you know, it's kind of like, okay, this is interesting, kind of cool. And then they start to get into some other stuff later on that was, you know, a little bit more interesting. And they were kind of telling a little bit of a story um, I didn't include any of the clips of it, but there was uh, a couple of pieces of video uh, and then they would be in costume sort of telling this this overarching story that this performance, I guess, was <laughs> a part of. But, uh, you know, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, one of the neat, neat things about a, a cruise is that the, uh, the variety of entertainment that you get a chance to see depending on the cruise line and the ship, things like that. We've seen a lot of different things over the years. Uh, we saw some very interesting stuff on the Celebrity Beyond after this cruise. This was in September 2022, and we were on the Celebrity Beyond in March of 23 and saw uh, some really good shows on there. Completely different venue. That was a much more modern ship. Here on uh, this particular ship on the Voyager, this is more of a sort of an old-fashioned traditional stage setup, you know, what you would find in a... In a you know, cruise ship theater. The ship is, you know, it's got a little bit of age to it. Early, early 2000s, I think. Uh, maybe actually late 90s. I can't remember when the Voyager launched. But uh, some very, you know, fun, upbeat, festive music to go along with their performances. And, you know, a lot of different things they were doing throughout the show. I think the overall show was maybe 45 minutes long. Uh, something like that. A lot of different pieces to it. You know, you see... Uh, acrobatics, roller skating, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, and remember I mentioned, too, that there was sort of an overarching story that they were telling with, you know, some visual elements to it as well. So pretty cool show. 